If you're a teacher or admin who suddenly needs to make a clean, consistent PowerPoint, but editing each slide one by one is driving you crazy, you're not alone. Let me introduce you to a feature that can save you hours, SlideMaster. Hi, I'm Al. In this video, I'll show you where to find and how to start using one of PowerPoint's most overlooked but powerful tools. Let's go. Say you were asked to clean up this presentation. It's just five slides, but imagine it's 20 or more, and you need to format everything consistently. This is where SlideMaster helps. First, always save a copy before making changes. Use Save As to preserve the original. Next, check if all slides use the same layout. Click on a slide, then go to the Home tab and click Layout. If a content slide is using the Title Slide Layout, switch it to Title and Content. You can actually update all slides at once. Go to Slide Sorter View, select the slides, and apply the Title and Content Layout. Now let's open Slide Master. Go to the View tab and click Slide Master. A new tab appears at the top. This is where the magic happens. On the left, you'll see a list of layouts. Scroll to the top and select the master slide. This one controls all the layouts below. Any change you make here will affect all the slides beneath it. Let's change the default font. Click Fonts and choose Arial, Clean and Readable. Return to Normal View. Click Close Master View, and there it is. All slides now use Arial. Want smaller bold headers? In Slide Master, select the master slide. Then click the title text, go to Home tab, and change the font size to 36, and apply bold. Close Master View. Now every slide has a bold 36-point header. Notice that the bullet points sit too low in the box. This is due to default text box formatting. Go back to the Slide Master, select the Title and Content Layout, click the dashed text box outline, and drag the bottom handle upward to just about here. Close Slide Master again, and everything looks more balanced. Now let's add the school logos and name. Place them once on a slide, resize, and position them. Then select both and press Ctrl X to cut. Open Slide Master. Go to the master slide and paste them in. They'll appear in the same position you cut them from. Ignore the other elements for now. We'll handle those in another video. Close Master View. Now they're on all slides. Now let's add a background photo. Insert it on the master slide, resize, and adjust placement. Back in normal view, the photo now shows up on all slides. To give the slides more flair, let's add a colored accent. Back in slide master, master slide, insert a thick vertical line to the left of the title. Formatted using shape outline. Match the school's color, set the weight to six points, and refine its position. Close master view, and done. Now it's on every slide. Just for fun, let's add a design element. Go to Insert, Shapes, Insert the shape, remove the outline, and adjust its transparency. Duplicate and position it to create a design. Duplicate again and place it in the opposite side. Select all, cut them, and paste into the master slide. Close master view, and your design is applied consistently across all slides. And that's it. You've just taken your first step into using Slide Master, one of PowerPoint's most powerful time savers. In the next PowerPoint video, I'll show you how to use the other layouts, create custom layouts, and use placeholders so your formatting is ready before content even goes in.
If this helped you feel more confident in PowerPoint, hit subscribe. More real world office tips are coming. Got a Word, Excel or PowerPoint problem? Drop it in the comments and I'll turn it into a tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.